Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Tales of Monkey Island for more point and click adventure game action. We are right back where we left off. In the manatee's belly. Trying to get these guys to accept us into their weird little brotherhood cult thing. So we can get the cochlear for the manatee and get it back on course for La Esponja Grande. Uh, but first, if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell down below the video so you get a notification to your device every time I upload. And as always guys, thank you all for your ongoing support. So, um, let's do this. We've managed to get Murray's head onto... What was this thing's name again? Whatever it is. So that should convince both Murray and this guy to vote for us. Uh, Moose. So... I don't know if we can do a 3 to 1, so if we get Noogie here to vote for us, I don't know if maybe that will get us all the people that we need, because it's a democracy. Noogie, my man! So what did Noogie say? Why didn't he vote for us? I could really use your vote to the Brotherhood. Oh, I don't know about that. We got a pretty stable force in here, and I don't think Bug Eye likes you much anyway. Well, let me do you a favor. Like? Uh, I'll give you my prize pocket protector. I'll give you that my prize good, pocket right? protector. Why would I want that? What am I, some kind of nerd? Uh, mm. Sexton, do anything for you? I'll do your laundry for a week. I'll do your laundry for a week! We let the manatees' natural enzymes run their course when it comes to cleanliness, so no. Ugh. Gross, I'll get you a date with Morgan Lafley. I'll get you a date with the beautiful, dangerous Morgan LaFlay. Really? You think she'd say yes? To a stud such Obviously. as yourself? Obviously. Of course. Wow. Okay. If the date goes well, you have my vote. Deal. Okay. In the meantime, here is a new member's manual. It might be worth ah. looking over if you're serious. It's full of our initiation rituals, neophyte duties, etc. Hazing rituals? By law, <laughs> we're no longer allowed to use the word hazing. We call uh, them enhanced initiation techniques. Okay. And delightful. One date coming up. So we're going to have to get a date then for him. Um, where's that book? Why is it a... What? Why is it a Read ring? The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior. A guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation in You. Hmm. The cover is loose. Oh, can we pull the cover off? Uh, can we maneuver it off with this? No. Uh, what about this thing? The cover is loose. How are we going to pull... That's weird, like it was a picture of a ring. Maybe that's a clue? No. Can we combine these two? Uh, did we try the sword? I think we did. And the Eye of the Manatee? No. So we're going to need to find something to take that cover off. Let's speak to Morgan. Hey Mo! What is it? Uh, see Nookie over there? Pretty cute, eh? It's not really the best time for this, but uh, how about that guy over there? Pretty cute, huh? Four eyes? Kinda portly if you ask me. Yeah, you need to go on a date with him. You should go on a little manatee date with him. No way! I feigned enough romance for one day. We'll feign uh, a bit what more. About... Uh, just go give him a quick back massage. Take him for a walk around a bile pool. Mm -hmm. Did I say date? I meant recon mission. Let's try Did that. Did I say date? <laughs> no, I meant reconnaissance mission. He's dangerous. My guess? Assassin. Really? Yeah, really. Here's the play. Shoot. Let's see if this works. It's a three phase operation. First, you should. Okay, right. Check for weapons, test his grip, reflex test, inspect his gums in case he's a biter. Let's inspect do that. Inspect his gums for pathogens. In case he is a biter, we need to know what sort of infections we'll be dealing with. Okay. Second, you must... Uh, mm, we don't want to do that. Uh, check for weapons. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Lastly? And then lastly, uh... 
test these grip slightly interrogate him. Maybe we did that in the Ask wrong him order. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Okay, so inspect his gums for disease. Check for weapons. And then interrogate. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Hopefully Thanks. the order's not too Maybe we should have done interrogate first. Maybe it was interrogate first, I don't know. Okay, what happened there? Hey, I'm guessing not too today. great. Terrible. Uh oh, what oh, happened? No. She shoved her hands into my mouth. Why would I ever want that? Well, I don't know. Different strokes, you know? Not for <laughs> this guy, ever. Wow. I'm sorry things didn't go as well as you'd hoped. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Well, do you think I could have your vote anyway? I don't think so. Let me oh. go talk to her. I still see love in the future for you two crazy kids. Okay. <laughs> that was creepy. Right, so maybe we do interrogate first. There might be a little bit of trial and error here. Uh, I need you to go on another recon mission, please. I need you to go on another recon mission. Who this time? Well, maybe same guy. I just don't think our information is solid. Really? Okay, I'll do my best. That's the spirit. It's a three-phase operation. First, you should. Okay. Um, can you interrogate him slightly? Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must. Uh. Psh. Let's check for weapons. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Lastly, can you right test his grip? Because we didn't do that Take one his last hand. time. Test his grip in case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Okay. So interrogate. Check for weapons. Yep. And then test his grip. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. Come on, fingers crossed. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? Terrible. Oh, no, not oh, again. What happened? It was going all right for a minute. First, okay. she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Right, so interrogates so first. But then, she put her hands all over me. There was no warming up to it or anything. Okay. She's desperate. Oh. She was so forward. I'm a guy. I could be physical, but I'm not a piece of meat. I understand right. that. Man, I'm sorry it didn't go better this time. It's not your fault. I just don't think she's for me. Let me go talk to her. I still see love in the future for you two crazy kids. Okay. So I reckon that we go first of all for interrogate because that definitely Hello. worked. What is it? Uh, just one more reconnaissance mission, please. Recon mission. Really? Okay, I'll do my best. Good. It's a three-phase operation. First, you should definitely interrogate him. Interrogate him. Ask him about himself. Let's figure out where this low life is from. Okay. Second, you must. Um. Right. What do we do? We check for weapons. Um. Let's do test his grip. Take his hand. Test his grip. In case it comes to fisticuffs. Okay. Right. Yeah. Lastly, so it's like holding hands. Then check for weapons. Check for weapons. Give him a pat down. When things turn to duck soup, we need to know what we're facing. Okay. Okay. So interrogate. Test his grip. And then check for weapons. You got it. Good luck. I've got your six. Thanks. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Hey, Noogie. How was the date? At first, I was really nervous. Yeah? Right. It turned out great. Yes! She was so into me. First, she wanted to know all about me. She was interested right off the bat. Nice! Then, she made the first move and took my hand. I knew I was doing well. Second base! Mr. Big Stuff over here. 
And then before I knew it, she's got her hands all over me. It was awesome. <laughs> the perfect date. So can well. you vote for me now? So I've got your vote. Certainly. Oh man, I'm putting all of this in my journal. I even found a strand of a hair on my vest. That's going in too, as a keepsake. Getting creepy. <laughs> uh, <sorry. laughs> Very weird. Um, there was also this thing of the bongos here, wasn't there? Hey, my man. Um, can you play something more up tempo? Like and that makes the liquid come up, doesn't up it? Tempo. Like this. That's the one. Right, so what is the purpose of doing that? I wonder if it has something to do with these pipes. Because there was one we couldn't get through, and I wondered if maybe we could get through the clogged one if it was all... No. How are we going to get through that? How do we unclog it? Can we just like... Stab it. I don't want to cut that. Can we just use the hook on it? I'm gonna have to adjust to life with the hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. So I'm not really sure what the That's advantage of angry monkey, like baboon angry. Oh, I wonder if we can get that now. I don't want to cut that. Can we get it with the hook? I'm gonna have to it adjust looks like... to life with the hook hand. For starters, I shouldn't do that. It definitely looks like the boat's floating now. I don't know what the advantage to that is. That's good timing, actually, because I've got a feeling maybe the boat is going to stop floating. It is, but I don't really see what difference that makes. Oh no, it's floating a little bit. That's one angry monkey. Like, baboon angry. Huh. Fair enough. Um, what was to do with the painting again? The portrait of Fish Eyes Alabaster. It's oh, covered yeah. in ancient grime. I can't see the painting. I wonder if we can clean it with something. Maybe the bug? Every grub I waste is one more I'll have to pick up for Dacaba. Can we use this? This member's manual seems too... Okay, it seems too important. Right, let's go and talk to the guy then and get him to do a... a vote. Ahoy there! Now what? Vote time, please. Uh, give me the skinny about the missing cochlea. Will you vote me into the Brotherhood? Call a vote. I'm ready to join up. You're... Tell me about Fish Eyes Alabaster. Fish Eyes Alabaster. Renowned philosopher or spooky old man who lived at the end of the lane? Fish Eyes was the first to see the honor in mutineering. He was a professional lookout for many years, until the strain ruptured his optic nerves. It ruined his face, but expanded his mind. He never worked another day in his life. We soldier on in his memory. Hmm. Okay, you're a real killjoy, you know that? You're a real killjoy. I don't take kindly to ruffians messing with the dynamics of the Brotherhood. Aren't you a mm. bit like the tyrants you claim to hate? I don't appreciate your inference, sweet roll. We do everything democratically down here. Noogie, Moose, and Santino carry equal weight in every decision. How about your decision to well, be Well, they're all jerk? on my side. No, that one's all me. Uh... Give me the skinny about the missing cochlea. Give me the skinny about the missing cochlea. I can keep the secret. I'll never break. Except in the face of porcelain. <laughs> porcelain again. Perhaps you didn't hear before when you were told that it was a secret of the Brotherhood. God, this I guy's did, a real piece I of work. I told everybody that. Come on, I'm Guybrush Streetwood. I don't care if you're the Queen of Swaziland or the Ghost Pirate LeChuck. I've killed him a few times. He's actually human sure now. Have, cream puff. I have many, many times. Call a vote. I'm ready to join. All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well, gentlemen. Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. It won't be so Sweet. smug in a minute. Voting time. My favorite. It's going to be my favorite as well now. Brother Noogie, concerning the initiation of one guy, Brush Threepwood. What say you? Um. Yes. I vote yes. I think he'll help raise... morale. <laughs> <laughs> Doubtful. <laughs> Brother Moose, what say you? I gotta go with my boy Santino on this one. Well, Threepwood has recently done me an extraordinary favor. Your vote, then? 
Of course, my vote is no, never. I would never allow Mari, him seriously? to the joy of being a brother. <laughs> what? I got you a body. <laughs> Making my betrayal all the more evil. Oh, screw you, Mari. I am the king of torment. I shall torture your soul for eternity. Yeah. Nah, bro. Two nays, then. And of course, my vote, which is no. Oh, I thought Shocker. we'd done it there. Huh? I'm sorry. Initiation can only be confirmed by a unanimous vote. What about a simple majority and a high five? I don't think so. Oh. Screw you, Murray. After all I did. Okay, now what? How do we get up to that thing? It's got to be something to do with this up here, right? The iron monkey. We can't reach it. Okay, we can't. There's a thing next to that. Like one of those pipes. I bet that takes us there. It's clogged. How do we unclog it? I've got to find a way of unclogging it. Look, it's there. I can see it to the left. How are we going to unclog it? Can we chuck the book in there? Will that work? This member's manual seems too important for that. Is there literally anything we can do this? It reads, The Democratically United Brotherhood of the Manatee Interior, a guide for the newly initiated. The first chapter is Initiation in You. Hmm. The cover is loose. Hmm. Okay. Let's try... This is Festive hey Skull. That doesn't appear to do anything. Okay, maybe we've got to go back up the top. Murray, what? Actually, let's talk to Murray and see why he's a little bit traitor. Come on, waste not, want not, bruh. Right, Murray, screw you. What's hey there, wrong with you? Uh, Santino. Aloha. What's the deal? I do you a favor, and this is how you repay me. What's the deal? I do you a favor, and this is how you repay me. <laughs> do you think I, Murray, the demonic skull, would ever let you experience the joy of being welcomed into the Brotherhood? Well, yeah, I thought we had a deal. I would rather be reduced to dust than see a smile on your face come induction time. <laughs> of course, if I could see you howling in misery come induction time, you'd have my vote. Really? Right. Give me a vote or else. You know, I brought you into this world of the bipedal. I can just as soon take you out. <laughs> Threats will never turn my cheek. You'll never have my vote into the Brotherhood. You actually like these guys? You actually like these guys? Like? I like no one, but I love the Brotherhood. What I have here is a group of men I can mold in my own image. Their fates right. are tied to mine, and my fate leads to the highest throne of hell. So Brotherhood actually suits you. Plus, Buckeye <laughs> is working on a creed. I love creeds. Fair enough. How's the body treating you, man? How's the body treating you? Remarkably well. It's only a matter of time before I gain control of my limbs. <laughs> oh boy, then we're in for it. I shall rewrite your definition of misery. You're literate now too? Not completely. Fair enough. Talk to you later, Murray. Talk to you later, Murray. Take care, windbag. Yeah, yeah. Screw you. Right, let's go up to the mouth. We're obviously got to do something up here. Maybe the carver's got some hints for us. And if not, maybe Winslow. Also, while we're um, doing this, I just want to take a moment to say thank you to everyone. Because um, we got to 400 subs last week, which is pretty damn cool. So thank you to everyone who's subscribed. It really does mean a lot to me. Um, yeah, you guys are the best, so thank you very, very much. Uh, the carver, here you go. Chief? Yes, Grumman. Uh, you need 100,000 grubs. You need 100,000 of these grubs to build one cochlea? By my calculations, yes. This is going to take forever. You know that, right? Forever? No. Several years, yes. Mm. An ardent adventurer must maintain his focus over the long game, Kruman Triput. Huh? What was that? Okay, what do you want me to do? 
What do you want me to do, Captain? Gather grubs. Time waste for no man. A tea. Uh, right. See you later then. All right then. Take care. Can we, like, take what's this monocular? Oh. Where has my monocular run off to, slippery devil? Can we do something with that? Oh, can we look at the plans with I don't it? I need to see that any closer. Plus, it's specially fit for Dakava. Uh, let's look at it. Dakava's monocular. A single lens device he uses to see while working in the darkness of the manatee's throat. So let's just see in the dark. Can we. No. Um. No. Oh, can we use it with this? We can! Hmm, these lenses are about the same size. Dakava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose tinted glasses. Or uncover loads of <laughs> secret messages. Good one. Um. Dakava's monocular now has a red lens. He'll see the manatee through rose tinted glasses. Or uncover loads of secret messages. Okay, can we use that with that now? No. I didn't mean to do that, I meant to use it on the photo. Uh do we just give it back to him? No secret messages there. Oh, we can look for secret messages now. Maybe the plans? No secret messages there. File trunk. A steamer trunk. It's probably full of junk. Or secrets. Ah, right. No secret messages there. Oh no. Uh to Carver, do you want these back, man? Your monocular, boss. Thank heavens! I was going mad without them. No harm done to them. Uh, uh the lens no. was cracked when I found it, so I replaced it. How, res how resourceful of you, crewman! What the Taking hell? after old Coronado, I see. Uh okay. Does that help matters or I achieve? Yes, crewman. Uh, what does do you he say do, anything Captain? else? Gather grubs! Time waste for no man! The tea. Literally nothing. Alright then. Take care. Huh. Can we give him the grub? Well done! I am pretty lost at the moment. Uh, there's nothing else. Okay, Winslow, I guess. There's another grub there. Where did Winslow go? Did he go back up onto the thing? Let's go back on the boat. I can hear Winslow. Is he up on the top? Not on the deck? Let's try going in. Everything okay in there? Most certainly, sir. I'm just relaxing with a glass of warm milk. Oh. Okay. What the hell? Why did it light up like that? <laughs> what is going on? Okay, so there's nothing up here. We must be missing something down... Unless, is there a way of distracting him or something? Can we use... I don't know. It's got to be something down in the belly, right? I'm a little bit stuck here. I was doing alright. Um, what are we doing for time? We are sort of out of time. So, I think what we'll do is call it an episode here. Um, yeah, I'm stuck. I don't really know what to do. Um, what's that? Pool of bile? Bile. We've done anything with that before? A pool of acidic yellow bile. Oh, can we get that in some way? Oh, I don't want to exit the mouth. Um, let's use it on the pool of bile. I don't want to cut that. No. Uh, can we use the book on it? Probably not, right? Uh, pool of bile. Where are you? 
this member's manual no. seems too important for that. Okay, what we'll do is we'll call an episode there. I'll have a bit of a think between episodes, um, but I can't really figure out how to get through that blocked tube, which I guess is probably what we need to do. But we will get there, we will figure it out. Hopefully in the next one. <laughs> we won't be wandering around like idiots. But yeah, that does it for this one, guys. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And uh, if you want to make a donation towards the channel, I've now got a PayPal link down in the description below the video. So you can, um, if you're that way inclined, you can just leave a bit of a donation to help me buy games and stuff for the channel. Um, that's always appreciated. And I will see you all next time.